Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I decided to sit down and create this really fun colorful eye look. I'm calling this my watermelon sugar eye. <laughs> yes it's just like the song. I'm feeling like this spring and summer are definitely going to be a season full of color and I'm here for the color. It's the color for me. I'm really ready to embrace the colorful eyeshadow looks and I've got so many new ideas. Um, I'm going to be using this amazing palette from Beauty Bay. I'm obsessed with this palette so much I feel like you can just literally do any kind of eyeshadow look with this colorful eyeshadow palette and this is going to be my most used eyeshadow palette I think I'll ever have I'm super excited to be using it that's the eyeshadow palette that I used today to create this eye look I think it's really fun and I think it's just something different and I hope that it's inspiring so anyway I'm not going to talk too much let's jump straight into the tutorial okay let's get things started Mm -mm -mm. What are we going to start with? Okay, I have, I've just had a shower and I have already moisturized and primed my skin. So I'm going to jump straight into foundation. I'm going to use a mixture of my Chanel Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Foundation and my Giorgio Armani. Okay, so I'm just going to mix these two together. So I'm going to do two pumps of Giorgio Armani and one of the Chanel and I just find that this like these two mixed together is like the most beautiful combo of foundation in terms of like shade and finish yeah. I'm loving this brush at the moment this is the cover of X liquid foundation brush and I just find this gives me a really nice airbrushed finish for my foundation. It just blends everything in so nice and smoothly. Love it. And when I apply foundation, I always apply the most foundation in the center of my face. And then I blend it outwards because I just find like of the perimeters of my face, I tend to add bronzer and contour there anyway. So it just helps with not having too much build up of product, especially in my hairline. Don't forget your ears. Okay, now that that's all blended in, I'm gonna go straight in with some concealer. Loving my Tarte Shape Tape at the moment. This is just such a great concealer. Um, I picked this up when I was in Dubai last year and I've just really found it to be so, so good, better than any other concealer that I have. I just find it has really great coverage. So I'm just gonna leave my concealer to sit there for a minute um, while we do some bronzing. Bronzing, you know, I'm going in for my Chanel bronzer. I love this cream so much. I feel like ever since I got it, I've just been, it's definitely like a product I use pretty much every time I do my makeup, I use this. I just feel like it's so, so nice on my complexion. Whether I'm fair, whether I'm tanned, I just feel like it just looks so good. So, I just add a little bit here and a little bit here. A little bit across the nose and a little bit across the forehead. Gorge. Okay, now that I've let that concealer <laughs> set for a minute um, I'm gonna go in with my microfiber blending sponge this is by Juno & Co I got this from Beauty Bay and I love 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 this um, I've already washed it so it's nice and damp this little trick that I do with my concealer I got this from another youtuber her name's Jackie Aina you should go check out her channel I feel like she's she's really really cool she's awesome I love all her makeup looks that she does and she has a really cool YouTube channel. I feel like she's someone that I've like followed for ages, like years, I think. And I just think that she's awesome. And I got this little trick from her and I've just found it to work so well, particularly well with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I'm just gonna apply that in the center of my face where I want brightness. Okay, we're looking good. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but my favorite way to apply concealer is in an upside down triangle shape. I'm pretty sure that this flatters everyone's face shape, no matter if you have a heart shape face or a square or an, an oval or round or whatever. I just find that that upside down triangle 
looks good on everyone. Okay, moving on. What's next? I'm gonna use a combo. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Brow Extensions and I'm gonna use my Dior Brow Styler. I've been loving this little combo. It's gonna brush everything up. I've definitely um, been keeping an eye out for the latest brow trends like in terms of products. And I've noticed that Anastasia Beverly Hills and NYX Cosmetics have come out with like a, like a freeze brow, kind of like a really strong, powerful, um, clear gel that like sets your brows like up in that really editorial fashion. And I really wanna try it. I'm really interested to know, I'm really interested to know if any of you guys have tried the Anastasia Brow Freeze or the NYX Glue Gel because I really, really want to try those. It's frustrating because the Superdrug near where I live doesn't have NYX products. So, I mean, it has everything else, but it doesn't have NYX. So it's difficult for me to like, go and suss that out. I guess I could just order it online. <laughs> but for the meantime, I'm loving these two. So now that I have that color down, I'm just gonna brush my brows one more time, just so that they are looking good. And then, and then I'm gonna go in with the brow styler. And I really, really like this because the pencil is so, so tiny and so, so fine. So I'm able to get like really good precision. I love this pencil so much. I've noticed that Huda Beauty and who else? Someone else I can't remember. Um, has also come out with really really fine tip brow pencils and I highly recommend them I mean it just it's up to you whichever brand you want to support but they're just amazing pencils for really getting individual brow hairs and getting the definition in your brows which I love so as always I like to get a defined line across the bottom of my brow and then I go in and create individual brow hairs with the pencil. And this is my little brow routine. Doesn't take very long. I did, however, do a brow tint during the week, so the brows are looking a lot better now. Okay, we're well, looking gorge. I think I just need a little, little contour. You already know, I'm gonna go in with my <laughs> Dior Backstage Contour Palette. I love this palette so much. I like to, when I'm fair, I usually go in with this shade, but because I have a little bit of tan on, I'm gonna mix these two together, just for a little, little something something. Okay, looking at gorge. A little bit of contour. Let's add some blush. Um, I feel like using my NARS Orgasm Blush on this beautiful big blush brush from Real Techniques. I'm just gonna take a wee bit of this. I feel like this blush is just so versatile. It goes with looks that are warm tone and cool tone. So it doesn't matter what colors I'm doing, I can generally get away with using this blush for either look. So I'm just gonna add some up here into the temples, a bit across the nose. I think we need a little highlight. I'm gonna go in with, what am I loving at the moment? I've got two here that I love. I'm loving Revlon Skin Lights. I'm loving Maybelline Face Studio Chrome Extreme. I think I'm going to go in with Skin Lights on this big ass brush from NYX. I don't know what it's called. It's really old. I just found it the other day. And I'm just going to sweep across my cheekbones and temples like that. Just same thing on the other side. I don't want like a harsh streak. I just kind of want like a wash of glowiness. For lipstick, I'm gonna use my current favorites. This is the Huda Beauty <laughs> Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Venus. I love this lipstick so much. I feel like it just goes with every look I do. Amazing, nice basic nude, nice and quick. Oh my God, I'm whizzing through things this morning. Okay. Oh my god, I forgot to say as well, it was my birthday on, um, it was my, I'm like, what day is it? It was my birthday on Sunday, and I got this as a gift. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Glow Kit, and it has these really, really beautiful shades of highlight in it. Um, I'm super obsessed with Star and Pink Heart. Pink Heart has this really nice kind of peachy shift to it. So I'm just gonna take a large blending brush. And I'm just gonna pick up a tiny bit of that. And I'm just gonna be extra. I just add this as a little pop to accentuate that highlight. Just a tiny, tiny bit, because this is like hella pigmented and hella bright. Okay, 
little bit onto the brow, onto the eyes. Now, obviously last summer, that song Watermelon Sugar was such a massive hit in, in the charts. And I really do love the song. Even now still, I'm always like singing Watermelon Sugar High to myself. <laughs> Um, but I really wanted to like take my videos in like a bit of a different direction lately I've definitely been doing like more product reviews and I did a little poll on Instagram and I asked people um, You know, would you guys rather see product reviews or would you would you rather see makeup tutorials? And most people like majority of people voted for makeup tutorials. So I thought I'd give the whole product review situation a bit of a break um i'm definitely not going to be buying a lot of new makeup anytime soon because i have so much hair that i need to use so i thought you know what let's get into some super creative makeup looks because i just want to push myself um creatively and step outside of my comfort zone instead of always doing a smoky brown eye look or a smoky purple eye look i really just want to like bring the color you know bring the vibes bring spring bring summer let's go colorful eye looks so I'm just gonna zoom you in. Hi. Hi, how are you? So I've got a bunch of brushes here. I'm not really sure which ones I wanna use. Which ones do I wanna use? Um, for brushes, I've got four here. I've got two blending brushes, a smaller blending brush, and a pencil brush. And as always, I have a little microfiber towel here in front of me to clean them off as I go. So, let's get into it with this gorgeous gorgeous eyeshadow palette by beauty bay i am obsessed with this palette i love 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 this palette it's so cool it's so great i love the color story i just feel like they have so much in here so much so much fun to be had with this colorful eyeshadow so i'm thinking that we do kind of like a pink and green look so i'm thinking i'm gonna go in well I'm thinking we go in with like Sweet Tooth and Tutu across the top lid. And then I'm thinking Granny Smith on the lower lash line. And then I really wanted to like give it a pop in the inner corner. So I'm gonna take my um, Rezi palette and I'm gonna use this shade here, Barb, in the inner corner of the eye. Let's get crazy with some colorful eyeshadow. First up, I'm gonna take Okay, so to start off with, I am gonna go in with the shade Sweet Tooth through here just to get a little bit of just to get a nice light pink shade in the crease so that's good for blending then i'm going to go in with tutu to add a little more pink and as i'm looking at this pink now i feel like it's a little bit too pink and we want something a little bit more watermelony you know i want like a pinkish red color so i'm going to go into the shade tutti frutti and I think that this is much better. I just have to say, like, I am loving this eyeshadow palette so much. I love all these colors. I've spent the last couple of weeks, like, experimenting with different color combinations. I remember one day I, like, went out for a walk and I had, like, <laughs> six different kinds of eyeshadows, completely different looks on each eye. And I ran into a friend of mine in the park. And she was like, I like your makeup. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm testing things. I'm just, uh trying new makeup looks i would have looked like a crazy person but you know i just love to experiment so i feel like this is the time now you know where we're all at home and you know this is like we have time to experiment with makeup and just kind of have fun and play around with different color combos i feel like this is the this coming season is definitely going to be about lots of color i'm definitely seeing new trends starting to pop up that are really colorful and I'm, I'm here for it, I'm here for the color. It's the color for me. Okay, so I feel like that's a really nice pinky watermelon shade. Um, and then in the inner corner, I'm gonna go into the shade Barb from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm just gonna add a little bit in here. This uh, is a metallic very glittery sparkly metallic shadow and so I just like to use a tiny bit at a time because it can be very crumbly but I just wanted that extra extra zhuzh in the inner corner that looks cute okay we're doing good let's go into the green I'm going to take the shade I'm taking the shade granny smith on my pencil brush and I'm just going to very lightly and very carefully and very gently sweep this 
in this direction across the lower lash line. I would never go backwards and forwards like this because otherwise I will just flick green eyeshadow all down here and I don't want a green nose. <laughs> so I'm just going to sweep that all the way across and then upwards and a little bit more. I'm literally just like tight tiny tiny touch to the palette and then adding to my eye these these eyeshadows are so great i'm not getting any fallout it's not crumbling everywhere it's not a mess they're easy to blend you can definitely build up the shadows if you want to and then i'm just going to smudge it a bit so it comes down a little bit further and then i'm going to go into there's a slightly darker green shade in the palette called labyrinth so i'm just going to take that on the outer edge so we've got I like to make the outer edge always darker because it just kind of draws draws things out of it. So I'm just gonna take that about halfway and drag it up so we have a really nice line here. I'm matching, does that look cute? This is definitely one of those eyeshadow looks where you look like a crazy person until the end. So even though it's looking really weird, just hang in there until I add um, liner and lashes. Just gonna do a quick blendy blend up through here make sure everything is nice and smoky and seamless man this eyeshadow look makes my eyes look extra hazel hmm, i like it so that's the eyeshadow down i have seen people add like little black dots through the watermelon um colored eyeshadow but i don't know if i want to do that because i don't have a look weird i think i'm just going to skip that step um i want black eyeliner so i'm going to take my tom ford eye defining pen i'm going to add liner mascara and lashes and i'll be right back so the lashes that i'm using are by the brand pinky goat and this is in the style zara and these are vegan lashes and they have a clear band and they're exclusive to Superdrug. and i chose these because they're really chunky and wispy and they still have that like extra volume with the outer edge which i think is super flattering because i don't want super dense lashes because they'll cover up everything i want to be able to see the eyeshadow kind of peeking through the lash so as always with lashes apply from above one more step i wanted to use a colorful eyeliner in the waterline this is a okay this is the sephora colorful contour eye pencil travel hour wear vinyl this is waterproof this is in the shade luscious emerald luscious emerald this is in the shade <laughs> oh my god i don't say this is in the shade luscious emerald looks so nice i think if you wanted to recreate this look and you didn't have a green eyeliner pencil just use black or brown i'm sure it would still look really cute okay so that is the final step in creating this watermelon sugar eye <laughs> um, i feel like it just turned out so cute and so fun and so colorful i love the mixture of the pinkish reddish watermelon color on the top and the green underneath i feel like this just really makes my eye color pop and i think that using this style of eyelash is just perfect when you're wearing something colorful and you want the shadow to show through i think pinking picking some pinking picking some chunky wispy lashes like this is just perfect more dramatic on the outer edge and i think that is just the most flattering style for eye most eye shapes and keeping the lip neutral because we've got so much color on the eyes but yeah okay i am so ready for i don't know a summertime picnic i'm so ready for a day out and about not that i can go anywhere and not that i can have a picnic right now but in my mind and in this video let's go out and do something fun and summery but yeah what do you guys think you'll have to let me know in the comments definitely leave me a comment and let me know what you think i would love it so much if any of you recreated this look if you post it on youtube or instagram or wherever and and tag me and let me know that you've recreated i would love to see people recreate um a colorful eyeshadow look like this but yeah i've got a whole list let me tell you i have a book <laughs> I have a book of ideas here. I constantly making new lists of new video ideas that I want to create. So stay tuned for more because I definitely have more videos coming soon. That's all from me. I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave me a comment and share the video. I definitely want to build my community. I want to build my channel. I really want to grow my audience. So it would be so amazing and it would mean so much to me if you could be a part of that. I hope you guys have a great week and weekend ahead, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I'm sending all the love and all the positive vibes your way. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <sighs>
Why am I out of breath already? And I really like what? And I really like what? I need some water. Let's do brows, brows, brows. Where are ya? Okay, so as always, I like to get a defined line across the lower lash. Uh, okay, cute. Cute, 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 cute. That's done. Water. Mm. Okay, how are we looking? Cute. Okay, cute, cute, cute. That's done, sorted. Um, this is the acute of the blah. This is the acute. Why can't I? Why can't I? <sighs> so, I've got. Am I recording? Am I focus? Okay, so. So. <laughs> Okay, so, 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 so. I look really cute. Um, what else do I want to say? Um, 